Hey everybody, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today, I'm very excited because this is the day for the Mr. Maple Festival 2022. Here we are on Monday, Memorial Day, May 30th, 2022. And we're excited about the Mr. Maple Festival. We're hoping we have a great turnout today. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of plants available for people to come for the first time and shop in person here at the nursery for several years. So we're very excited about this. We hope that you guys can come out and enjoy the maples that we have available. We have tons of plants, conifers, maples, flowering shrubs, dogwoods, red buds, all kinds of plants here today. I'm very, very excited about it. I used to want to come to these festivals all the time and now I work here for Mr. Maple and to be able to be a part of it is very, very cool. So we hope you guys come out. We're doing this video today to kind of show everybody who doesn't get a chance to come to kind of give you a picture of what this festival is like. So maybe next year and you make some plans and get out here and check this thing out. We're going to have some live music here. We're going to have a food truck. We're going to have tons of plants. Matt and Tim will be going around, running around like crazy, helping everybody find maples. I'm sure I'm going to be busy today, but we're going to have a blast. All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Mr. Maple Festival for 2022. We're, uh, we're, we really appreciate all y'all coming out. Yeah, we're excited to have this place open again. We've been so swamped with orders online, it's been hard to be open because of everything we've, because all y'all great customers. <laughs> so we had to work extra hard to be able to get it enough done to get y'all back in here. Thank but you. but yeah. we've got some really cool stuff. There's, if you're looking for one gallon, really unique rare maples, the houses right here, 16 and 17, 16 and 17 right there, and 18 right here have some really awesome, unique, rare maples. Um, that Going down at the bottom of the hill, as y'all drove by that greenhouse that's open with shade cloth, that's house 20. All these greenhouses are labeled too. And there's a sign over here that sort of tells you what's going on with what's in each house. The uh, bottom house is the azalea house. It's got a lot of evergreen azaleas in it and some other unique plants in there as well. One house up from that has a mixture of unique rare maples. It's got some three gallon dwarf ginkgos. It's got um, some uh, native azaleas and some really cool plants in that house. Then there's twos and three gallons in the next house. And the next house has extra large one gallons. So these are 
basically lots of one-offs of unique cool things that really should be going to three gallons. I mean, they're really large one gallons, but we figured we'd put them open at the Mr. Maple Festival for 35 so people could come by and pick up whatever they want. So if you see plants you like, grab one of our guys. We can carry them down. We have a holding area here. So our wives, me, Tim and Brian, all of our wives will be over here to help. And uh, they'll store the plants here in this holding area so you can put your name on them and make a little pile if you like so you don't have to carry them around while you're shopping. We'll bring those down for you. We have uh, little uh, name tags you can put on the plants so they know right where to put them. And uh, hey, we're just super excited to have y'all. I always like to ask, so we'll, we'll raise your hand if you came from five hours away. All right, raise your hand if you came from six hours away. Six? All right, seven? Oh, wow. Seven, how far? Island, nice, nice, nice. Hey, we appreciate all y'all. We, we just are so humbled and honored to have y'all here and it's super exciting to reopen. Let's get going, y'all go shop and enjoy it. Thank you. Late night tip or some turn back to the door. I be keep back right here, just sipping this crown and cold. We ain't worried about nothing except keeping this beer right. Box now, dancing to the twist and shout. Jimmy storming out the front door. Lord, you think someone had died? Won't you tell me where to be when the walls are falling? Girl, I know you're gonna wreck this town. Tell me where to be when the walls are falling. Girl, I know you're gonna wreck this town. Tell me where to be when the walls are falling. Girl, I know you're gonna wreck this town. Tell me where to be when the walls are falling down. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of a hidden place in here. My girls love to come up here because you'll find different faces every time you come through. He's, there's like different animals and faces hidden away and everything. And uh, this is actually, he's got it unplugged now. And a lot of stuff's getting rebuilt because we had had a lot of people in. But uh, Tim, Tim actually had his wedding right here on these stairs. And uh, we had a small wedding reception right here. Cat syrup. Where's Jim? This one wasn't Dan Sugi. Dan Sugi's going to grab two onto one thing. There was a crimson queen on here with a waterfall. Well, eventually the waterfall won. <laughs> so now that's just a waterfall. It's in the Silver War. Uh, but it's not turned on. They were searching these rocks here. If you look on the front of my garage, I've made a dragon here. It's an Acer Olivierum X, and it's just super durable. We we thought a long time about patenting that one or Dragon Master, but we didn't. Hey, Matt. Fairlight's here. Sorry. Hey, do you know how that says seedling? So is that a seedling of like a blood good? or? A... So my dad started this nursery out uh, in like 72, selling seedlings at local tailgate markets. Like he would dig ball and right. out just seedlings. And they uh, some are from blood good types but they're not necessarily from a grafted blood good. He was just getting, uh, my grandmother started growing Japanese maples from seed in the 50s. So was, he would get some from Ahead her. of her time. Yep. Yeah, and so it's just a random seedling. Uh, we had big Bradford pears here when I was a kid and it knocked half that tree out or it'd be double as big. And we chopped all those Breakford pears down and Yay! killed them and put it in my antique rock right here. And this one is Shinda Sojo. This one leaves out really colorful in the early spring. Does get more green now. Always very popular for bones off for its leaf size. Wow. We're here at the day after the Mr. Maple Festival. 
You guys are amazing. We've got a little bit of a talk hangover already. I think Tim and I are, are a little fried in our brains, especially Brian and Wesley. And I know Francis and Carla and Amy are tired because they were they were running the checkout booth. And we just really appreciate all you've made the Mr. Maple Festival truly something special. It was one of our best days ever. Uh, it was one of our busiest days. It definitely was our busiest day here at the nursery for number of people and for number of sales. So we greatly appreciate you showing up. We had a blast. It's always awesome when we can share what we're passionate about with you. And so we're going to be trying to look and try to figure out more ways to do that because it, we had a great time. Our staff had a great time. It was exhausting, but it, it was a blast to get to meet so many of y'all, many of y'all that are watching. Uh, by the way, stay tuned to the end because we'll be doing our $100 giveaway that we've been doing, so make sure to stay tuned to the end. But it was a blast meeting all of y'all. Uh, we met a ton of oh people. Oh my goodness. I think I took more pictures and selfies than I've ever taken in my life. Uh, I, know, I know Brian was over there, you know, quite the celebrity as well in the photo booth there. I probably got at least 30 or 40 photos of people, so we were just humbled and honored by that. You know, we're just nursery workers here. We get a kick out of that. Uh, we, you guys make us feel super special, and uh, thank you so much for that. I walked up at the end of the day, Tim signed autographs. <laughs> I got a chuckle out of that. They're like, hey, Matt's here now. You can sign it too, and they like took a picture of us signing it. So we were like, just beyond humbled and honored because, uh, you know, thank you for making us feel special here at Mr. Maple, attending the event. Uh, we're just humbled that anybody even wants to show up. So we had quite a kick out of all the all the, the fanfare of the day. But It was well received. Everyone loved everything from the barbecue truck to the band to all the really cool maples. I think a lot of our staff that was real passionate about it had a blast running around. Brian and Wesley and everybody running around and talking about the plants with other people who enjoyed them as much as they do. Hey, and it was amazing to see smiling faces in person again. We love that. Uh, we're people people as well as plant people, so we love seeing people interacting and just getting to talk with you. And uh, I really appreciate all the kind words. I mean, wow, our group, the Mr. Maple Friends group was lit up with comments. It was just the buzz that whole evening and, and the next day. So we really appreciate all that. That really just makes us feel so great here. And I, I shared that with all the staff. You know, when there's compliments to Jody and Caprice and all the people who were making it possible, we made sure to point that out to them and say, hey, People were really bragging on you in the group because you went the extra mile. We really appreciate that. And speaking of, if you have photos from the event or photos you took of your trees that you got at the, the Mr. Maple Festival, share those in the Mr. Maple Friends group on Facebook. It's a great way to interact with people and sort of build that community that we've got here at Mr. Maple. Hey, it, I, I thought that day was so much fun. Uh, Bad Rabbit, who uh, several of our members were in, was phenomenal. I thought that went over great. And Carolyn Ace's food truck, I mean, we were eating good, we were listening to good music, and we had good maples. So I don't know what else you can ask for. That was a fun time. Good friends to share it with, I guess. We had that too. It was awesome to meet so many of y'all that we've never met before, people driving in. We had, uh, at the beginning of the day, we started out, and people had said they'd driven as far away from seven hours. Oh, we got more. And, and then later yeah. it became people from Wyoming, people from Texas, people from Florida. Right. So we had a large... <laughs> I think when we Crowd. first asked the question, they were still driving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that far to go. Uh, so, it was just quite amazing. We really appreciate it. And uh, we just had a blast. We're looking forward to doing a fall open house. We may even sneak in a summer one. We'll see. But we're definitely going to be doing some more open things like that. We love interacting with you guys. And we just love that camaraderie of getting together and, and sharing our passion and what we've been working on. I mean, a lot of the guys you saw here and interacted with in the Mr. Maple t-shirts there are the people that have been potting and fertilizing and staking to make this look so good for this event. And if you've been receiving stuff, they're also the people who've been shipping to right, you. Right, right. <laughs> so. so, yeah, they, they, they knew the work that went in this year to make this happen, and it was, a, it was a huge success. I wish we had a clicker because I think from our estimates, we had somewhere between 700 to 750, and that's just an estimate that could definitely be short on how many people showed up. But it, it felt was, like more, I'll tell you that. It did. It did, <laughs> especially when we got to talk with everybody. I mean, so many people came by and they said, hey, my name's John. Hey, my name's Jeff. I watch you on YouTube. And that just helped us feel really cool. Wow, that was amazing. I had so much good feedback for our YouTube channel. Uh, it lets us know you guys are enjoying this and really watching it. And it makes it worthwhile to put the effort we do into it. I mean, Brian's editing a video for every single day. And so we greatly appreciate that. And it just lets us know, hey, you guys are enjoying it. I mean, I had so many good compliments about this channel. Like They were like, we're watching every video. So we really appreciate y'all watching the video. We really appreciate y'all telling us 
you're watching that video. <laughs> and uh, I guess we're, uh, we want to tell everyone before we get onto the, the YouTube giveaway, we want to tell everybody thanks. From, from the bottom of our hearts, thanks for showing up. Uh, we really had a blast uh, on the Mr. Maple Festival. and You always get nervous with this much work going into it. And you're like, wow. I mean, because it, it took a lot of effort to just get the nursery ready. We were covering drain lines that we were putting in new greenhouses for at the beginning of the week. So it took a lot of effort to get this to the level that we could have 700 plus people come into the nursery. So we were pulling our hair out a little bit this week, but you guys made it so worth it. And we just greatly appreciate your purchases, your kind words. Just everything was so humbling to our staff and it means the world to us. We'll definitely be doing it again because it was such a big hit. And uh, maybe even more, maybe more. So we really appreciate that. Uh, let's let's give away a hundred dollar gift card. So we went through and did the random a uh, number generator, and the random number generator fell on the video for Firefall, uh, and, and this is through all of our videos. So our conifer videos, our ginkgo videos, our maple videos. This is old videos and new videos. So always remember if you go comment on those old videos too, you've got a great chance to win because not as many people were commenting on the old mm. videos. So always remember to go back and comment on those old videos because this one was a Japanese Maple episode 63. It was an older on, one. An older one on yeah. Firefall. And on that, there were three of them. And uh, the one that won was Brandon Dewey. And uh, we want to say congratulations to Brandon Dewey. Uh, contact Jody at MrMapleQuestions at gmail.com. And we'll uh, issue you a $100 Mr. Maple gift card. And so. congratulations. Uh, that means you're getting some cool plants from Mr. Maple. And uh, we really appreciate everybody who got involved with this giveaway. Yeah. And our 10,000 uh, subscribers. That's yeah. no small feat. We really no. appreciate you guys. Uh, you've been liking, subscribing, and sharing. Uh, we love doing these giveaways, so we're going to keep them going. Uh, we're going to do another giveaway. We're going to do this one at 15,000 subscribers. Uh, we're coming in on that pretty quick. We actually are probably going to hit that in the next little bit. And uh, we're going to give away some more gift cards. Yeah. And the way you want to do this is comment. What was it? We were... Well, like, subscribe, and share. So you have to be subscribed to the channel first. Share some of our videos. And, and like every video that you uh, put this under as well. But the way to be entered for our next giveaway is hashtag Japanese Maples. So just put a hashtag Japanese Maples under any video that'll give you a chance to win. We're gonna spread it out this time. So we're gonna do four $25 gift cards. So that way there's even more winners. So put uh, hashtag Japanese Maples under any single video in the Mr. Maple catalog here on our YouTube channel. And you'll be entered for a chance to win a $25 gift card. I think this will be fun. We'll spread it out a little bit more, get some more winners. Uh, if we're getting a ton of uh, comments, we may even throw a few more things in there. As we're ordering more t-shirts and hats, we may do some more giveaways coming up pretty soon. But definitely get involved. Hashtag Japanese Maples is the ticket to win there. Like, subscribe, and share. We really appreciate you growing this channel. We greatly appreciate everybody's like and subscribe and share. But we had a ball at Open House. We're a little tired today. Yeah. We're a little people hungover. We're kind of like, oh my goodness today. But it was a good kind of oh my goodness because we had a ball. So remember, you can comment on any of the new videos, hashtag Japanese Maples, but you can also comment on those old videos. And I say that because each time we've given away, there's been people who've won on new videos, but there's also been people who've won on old videos. And so you've always got a great chance if you're commenting on those old videos too. And that's that hashtag Japanese Maples. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And we really appreciate y'all as viewers. Appreciate everyone who got involved with the Mr. Maple Festival, everyone who's been involved with this giveaway and everyone who's going to be involved in this next one. Hey, if you were there at the event, let us know in the comments section below. I know you'll be doing that hashtag Japanese Maples, but just let us know if you attended the, our open house live in person in the comments section below, and definitely go share your pictures and Mr. Maple Friends on Facebook. That's our group there. We love the community we're building there. It's a fun way to interact, and it's just been so much fun to see that grow. Uh, I felt super cool, I'm not going to lie. When I went in there last night, and there were like 25 posts about our open house and just tons of good comments. It was so much fun to read and, and it was even more fun to see y'all in person. So we'll be doing more of that for sure. Take care. God bless. And have a good day.